Do you know the oldest book in the world is a book without words? It is just made up of symbols of lines. And this book is called the I Ching, which was known as the I Ching. Some people translate the I Ching or I Ching as the book of changes. I will just call it I Ching. And this I Ching book has been around for more than 6,500 to 7,000 years. It was written when there was no written language in the world. And there are three authors for this book in China, Fu Xi, King Wen of Zhou Dynasty and Confucius. Spent over about 3,000 years. Today, the I Ching is being studied because it, it many people realize that I Ching can answer all our problems in the world. It is so rich in knowledge and wisdom. It is an observation of nature and yet, if you interpret the I Ching correctly, it can give you immediate answers to all your problems. And many people say, I Ching is so powerful, how can I learn it? We will have a series of short lessons and today let's start with the most basic and that's called the yin and yang. I Ching is made up of two most important concepts, the yang which is one unbroken line and the yin is made up of two broken lines of the same length. You can consider the yang as strong, yin as weak, yang as hard, yin as soft. But more importantly is these two are opposing factors they actually complement and counter each other. And you cannot have the yin without the yang. And the yang cannot live without the yin. More importantly, there's the yin inside the yang and there's a the yang inside the yin. Very simple, this yang line is one unbroken line, right? But if I break it into two, it becomes two broken lines. So actually, there's the yin inside the yang. And these two broken lines yin, if I join the two lines together, it should become yang. So you can say that there is the yang inside the yin, just like there is a hardness in soft and there is a softness in art. And these two change all the time. Something that is yang can become yin the next moment and vice versa. Like you see this line is very strong, it's yang, but if there's some external force, it can break the two easily because it's too strong to be broken easily. And these two lines, you see that they are broken, they are weak, but actually, if with the right environment, these two can combine together, become strong as one yang line. And with yin and yang, you can solve all problems in the world.